Well, me and Piper, this is Rampain, and welcome to a new installation guide that I want to try and showcase on my channel today, as I'm going to be starting a new Zardom's campaign on Friday this week, uh, me playing as the Romans. That's going to be fun. And so we're going to be installing and showcasing the installation guide for version 2.2. It is fairly simple. Uh, right now, basically what you need to start off with is I always trust ModDB for the most part for whenever I'm downloading the mods. I believe these guys are also on Total War Center, but I'll be including this link down below. First thing we need to start off with is downloading the zip file, 7 zip file, from the current um, install they have. And then what we need to start with is we need to extract it using uh, whatever extractor you uh, trust. I usually use 7 zip for this type of file. So extract it here. And then as that is going along, we will kind of go back down and see what they recommend. Um, this is, I am going to be doing this on a Steam install. Um, this one little thing, there is going to be one thing we do not need to technically do um, unless you are not using if you don't have the Medieval 2 uh, mod launcher uh, thing, which I have over down here, I've just renamed it, but if you do not have this, uh, you will need to go along with this Steam uh, little thing they have right here, the features Zardom Spart. Um, because we do not have to worry about that, this is going to simply just be finding the file location, which for me, uh, because I have a Steam installation, the easiest way to find this is going to Properties, and then browse local files and then as it is suggesting we want to make sure that we are going to not the medieval 2 folder but to the mods folder specifically here i currently have just an older version of the 1.5 beta of the zardoms so as soon as this finishes extracting we'll want to take all of the files from here and put them into here okay now that this is done we need to take this file here and we'll just it's easiest just to take it as it is right there don't have any excess files randomly going to places they should not so just moving this into the mod folder and then as soon as this has been moved since i am using the medieval 2 mod launcher i'll try and make sure i can find a link to that again um, as i know there is a link to that in the um, uh, total war center so i'll try and find that and have that in the description for you guys but now that this is here um, all we need to do is go on down over here once I close everything. For me at least, all I have to do is go over here and then just find the Zardoms. There is Zardoms 2.2. Game is ready to launch, get this on up, and then it should be good to go. <laughs> because now I get to see how what they've changed so far is it's the last time I played this campaign on my channel was in version 1.4. So I'm hoping uh, it says they've changed a lot um, and mainly focused on stability. And I think they've added some new scripts that I was unaware of when I initially played. But it seems like everything is working out perfectly fine for us. So now Zardom's 2.2 has been installed and everybody can just select whatever fashion they want to play so i'm gonna hope you guys enjoyed this and found this uh, installation guide useful if not uh make sure to leave some stuff down below in the comments we can try and uh, troubleshoot together if anybody's having issues with the installation guide but i'm gonna hope that you guys all went along with it smoothly so you can enjoy this mod that i know i enjoyed a hell of a lot when i was playing it last on my channel and i can't wait to start a new campaign with it but I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this type of content and if it is helpful at all. But this is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.